Recently, I'm taking an interest in learning how to draw with a pen. And what is the best way to learn something? Right, practice. So, I decided to participate in Inktober. What's Inktober? It's a challenge where you are drawing one piece each day during October using pen or ink. 31 drawing for a 31 day. So, I passed this challenge and I have what to say. But first things first. I have plenty of ink pens, but not many of them turned out to be writing ink pens. The result of this round to the next stage is only half of candidates. I don't know. I think blue color is not exactly a good fit for this challenge. And this one is too thick. We have finalists. Let's make a test. Mm, I don't know why, but I always draw an eye for a test. First two are definitely no. These I draw using third. As for me, it's awful. Well, I'm not going to repeat my mistakes. No, no, no. No more suitable materials, broken pencils, bold brushes, no. This time I'll buy a good pen. And they were only red and green pants. What? Apparently the architects bought all black pants. Fortunately, I found it online. I bought very, very thin pen, 0.15 mm. I hope this pen will live up to my expectations. Oh, fantastic! I don't know if you can see the difference, but I'm satisfied. Just look at this hatching. Well, now I need to choose style. Different art styles require different stuff. Thus, thick pen or brush is good for Disney, because thin pen cannot give the proper emphasis, but it's impossible to make a very detailed drawing using thick pen. By the way, I also thought to draw a manga, but it's some other time. Write in comments if you are interested. Next step is to understand how to draw. For this I turn to professionals. Meet Sir John Taniel. In one of my previous videos, I told you that I learned a lot from books. Now I will do the same. Fortunately, this book has examples of everything I need. Shadows, cloth, trees, fur, hair. And by the way, illustrations are beautiful. But at the same time not complicated. Just what I need. Then it was time to practice. So what I understand and learned from my participation in the challenge. At first, pen and ink are more about simplifying. I used to draw with a pencil, but in a pencil the logic is quite different. Pencil can be overlapped, layer by layer, you can blend it, use a rubber after all. Pen uses a different approach. Lines need a steady head. There is no room for mistakes. Maybe I'm wrong, but as I understand, there is no rubber for pen. In graphics, the defining sign remains the conventionality of space. Has the particular importance of the silhouette, the contour line, and direction of the stroke. So, one of the most powerful instruments here are hatching. The main concept is that the quantity, thickness, and spacing of the lines affect the brightness of the overall image and emphasize forms creating the illusion of volume. There are six basic forms of hatching. Let's take a closer look. Hatching and cross-hatching are the simplest type. You just draw straight parallel lines. Distance between lines define color. Closer lines darker color. 
I use it to plane surfaces. Contour is a hatching using curved lines to describe light and form of contours. This type of hatching are used to convey the convexity of object's shape. For example, branches, clouds and other round forms. Stippling, as for me, is better to use separately from other kinds of hatching. It's good for hyperrealism techniques. Doodling or scribbling. Oh, it's my favorite technique of hatching. Good for textures, especially for feather, scales, tree trunk. It's so relaxing. One of the tricky parts for me was shading. Shadows are created by adding layers of hatching. And the most important thing is not to overdo. Because it's gonna be difficult to fix. Also, it's easy to make a mistake in direction of light on drawing and get incorrect shadows in the result. In general, shadows play a crucial role. Shadows reveal much about an object's extension in space. They are often used to heighten the depth, and also they make drawing more expressive and interesting. So what about drawing distant objects? All of the above work well here. Just need to reduce the pressure of the pen, depending on the distance of the object's location. And some useful devices if you decide to draw yourself. At first, better to do sketch of drawing. It will make everything easier. I didn't draw a pencil sketch on paper because I didn't want to spoil a plot of my drawing, but it would be much easier to draw if I had a pencil line. Here I try to understand where it would be better to set the figure. And as a result, draw him a little bit bigger and lower than it's supposed to be. And the second advice is to measure proportions. It's important. And that's all. Hope you find some interesting tips. Wish you a good luck with drawing. It's easier than it looks at first glance. The main condition to succeed is a practice. If you want to see full process of this drawing to understand the details, you can see my next video. It will be out in a few days. It will be quite a different video. This video was more like tutorial. I just wanted to share my experience with you. Because I'm not a professional and I think that my vision can be easier to perceive for beginners. Next video is very satisfying and here I'm telling a story of characters. It's already edited, subscribe to not miss and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, you can visit my Instagram where I'm posting drawings I haven't shown here yet and some cute photos. In the meantime, you can watch my other drawing videos, for example, how I draw jinx under extreme conditions or how to draw like Manet. See you in the next video and bye!